New team of TC Carnage and Adam Roberts getting their big opportunity here, but uh, I wouldn't wish their fate on anyone staring across the ring at the Wild Side Tag Team Champions, Bulldog Reigns and Tank, two psychotic individuals, and just by circumstance, managed by a psychotic individual, and Al gets, so all the cuckoos are in one nest. Furs of a feather, that's great. With this team, Matt, say this is a, a big and powerful tag team. I think the only thing that's even bigger is Al gets his ball spot. It's getting its own zip code next week, if I'm, if I'm told correctly. Yep, next week. The Al Guest Ball Spot zip code will be happy to unfurl that to all the fans here at NWA Wildside. Al Guest trying to calm his uh, canine unit. Good luck. I don't believe this team is... Actually, you have to give Al Guest a little bit of credit here. How do you tame and keep under a, under a sort of lock and key and under observation a team like Bulldog Reigns and Tank? He's been able to do it and still manages to get the tag team championship in the, in the attempt. Bulldog Reigns locking it up with Adam Roberts, the wily veteran brawler. Bulldog Reigns been all over the world and left a path of destruction in each and every stop. Bulldog Big Reigns. Adam Roberts turning him around. You've got to admire the guts of this kid. In there with Bulldog Reigns and a double chop sends Reigns down and Tank comes in and Adam Roberts is cleaning house. Impressive debut here. Well, unfortunately, I think some nice things about Al Getz. One thing Al did not exactly instill into the minds of Tank and Bulldog Reigns, the fact that Adam Roberts and DC Carnage are not exactly a cakewalk, you know? I mean, they got their slot here at NWA Wilson because they are a tough, incredible tag team. Yeah, fans, definitely. I mean, you got to look at the thousands of tapes that NWA Wildside gets a week. The talent that makes it on the show had to go through a hell of a lot just to be here. So you have to imagine that Carnage and Roberts are ready here. But uh, I don't know how you can be ready for two guys like this. That's again, well, I guess they probably grow up great, but grow up pretty powerful there in the, uh, the Pinecone State of Alabama, which is where Carnage and Roberts come from, making the long journey up here to the NWA arena. But Bulldog Reigns and, and TC Carnage now tying it up here. Pretty much a bit of a come see, come saw battle. Well, TC Carnage is no small fry. 280 pounder. No, but, then it, but then it gives away a lot of experience. And I think the experience, in addition to the unbridled power of the Wild Side Tag Team Champions, are in full effect here tonight. Speaking of devil. Big power slam by the Bulldog. And he tags in this psychotic madman. And the story of Tank has been a long one here in NWA Wildside. Oh my God. Thunderous chops and kicks to the kidneys. Tank just mauling to see Carnage. Should be against the law to unleash this man in the ring against anyone, period. The man did time in a mental institution because he went a little too far in an underground cage fight. He's a nut. He's been a nut for a hell of a long time. But and the sad thing is, he's a hell of a wrestler, and he can attack you from any aspect. Yeah, he may be a nut and a hell of a tag team wrestler. He's also been a wild side tag team champion three different times with three different partners. He's the only man in wild side history to do that big snap suplex. So Tank has made his mark on Wildside history in many ways, and now a long-lasting one, holding the Wildside Tag Team title with three different partners, and a record never, never, ever set here in NWA Wildside. And interestingly, his uh, three various partners, in many ways, are about as Meshuggah and as loony as he is. A big kick to the side of the head. Bulldog follows it up with a clothesline. Brutality is what Tank and the Bulldog are all about. Punishment and brutality. They are two very, very physical individuals. You're not going to see any finesse with Tank and the Bulldog. Exploder suplex by Bulldog Reigns. And just in case you think of some guy who does nothing but bark a lot, if you think he's just going to be just some, just some sort of mindless little kook in the ring, you're sadly mistaken. Bulldog Reigns has been a professional competitor now for, I guess, about 11, 12 years and many championship belts around his waist, very regional titles. However, obviously the biggest feather in his cap is the Wild Side Tag Team Champion. Oh my goodness, big, big backdrop. 
and TC Carnage is feeling some mighty severe pain at this juncture. A double high back body drop by Tank and Bulldog, and Tank now has TC Carnage single arm. T hangs on, takes him over with a hammer lock, and he is really cinching it in there. The agony that Carnage must be experiencing right now, and he rolls through with it, bridge on that hammer lock. More of the technical wrestling expertise from a guy that actually graduated on a wrestling scholarship from the University of Iowa. What a bizarre tale that is. That guy deserves his own book. Sure be more interesting most of the wrestling books that are out now. Another Irish whip by the Bulldog in the back elbow. Looks like Carnage was trying to get out way out of away from that elbow. I can't blame him. Trying to duck under it kind of limbo style, but still didn't quite make it. Who would have ever imagined that a limbo would be a good defensive posture in pro wrestling? I'll be damned. I'm surprised by things every day. And Tank with a nasty boot to the midsection there on TC Carnage. And Carnage hoping to dish out some Carnage of his own here tonight. But he gets the outside Tag Team Champions. That's a tall order indeed. Nasty back suplex by Tank. And when it comes to nasty, many people feel like one of the nastiest around is our own dear and beloved, and I mean that quite seriously, interestingly, Slim J. He's facing Salvatore Renaro next here in NWA Wildside. This turning will be quite a power-packed hour at Wildside, as they all are. Modified STF by Tank. The step over toe hold face lock. The maneuver invented by the legendary Lou Fez, popularized by Masahiro Chono in Japan. And now inflicting a hell of a lot of pain on DC Carnage. That is definitely the job description of the Wild Side Tag Team Champions. Said one, one word, pain. And DC Carnage is in about the worst possible place you could be in the ring with Tank, and that is on the mat. There are few in Wild Side that are superior to this monster when he gets on the ground. And there once again is a non-tag. Frankly, I don't believe the team of Bulldog Rings and Tank really needs to, to stoop to those sort of levels, but I guess that's what's instilled in their minds, for lack of a better word, by Al Getz. Bulldog breaking out the old double chicken wing submission. I haven't seen that one in a while. Now turning it into a variation of the bow and arrow. I'm told that Bulldog Rings are rather fond of chicken wings. Hence, hence the move. You get your inspiration from all kinds of places. And a big reminder to all Wildside fans, if anybody's interested in a road trip, I got one for you. It's Fright Night. Saturday night, October 25th, one night, and I can't begin to tell you what would be an amazing, an amazing affair. Make your plans now. Fright Night, October 25th at NWA Arena here in Cornelia, Georgia, just 75 miles northeast of Atlanta. We'd love to have you. Sunset flip by TC Carnage. Back from the dead here. Bulldog stops that comeback in a hurry. Looks like both Reigns and Tank are determined to give a, uh, for lack of a better term, a pro wrestling lesson to Roberts and Carnage here this evening, even though both Roberts and Carnage are, are quite adept at it. But the power of the tag team champs is just way too, ed too evident here tonight. I mean, interestingly, a part of Al Getz Enterprises, and a big part of it is the Dobbins brothers, and they'll be facing some genuine tag team action coming up in an upcoming edition of NWA Wildside. Happily, they're not here tonight. That came for a little pleasure. Oh, and a big baseball slider right on the face of TC Carnage. And Reigns and Tank are psychologically playing the younger team of Carnage and Roberts like a fiddle here. Big clothesline, though, by TC Carnage. He's fighting the guts to continue, and that's more than you can say for a lot of guys. TC Carnage even busted wide open his eyebrow. Is it a psychological game for the tag team champions or a psychotic game? Probably a little of both. Both on display here this evening. And TC Carter gets an opportunity to tag a fresh man. And here he comes. Adam Roberts is in. He's going right to tank. And he's got the big man rocking and reeling. Good Adam Roberts here. 
Once again, it's breaking down. All four men going at it. Tag hoist and Carnage right over the top rope. Oh my. Adam Roberts in no man's land. There's the power breaker. And the champions retain again. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners and still the wild side tag team champions, who won't raise and As game as Carnage and Roberts were here this evening, it still was just not enough to dismantle the Wild Side Tag Team Champs. Tank and Bulldog Reign, man. The brutality and the firepower. So much to withstand. Or are there other tag teams waiting in the midst? And I can't help but think that the next time Tank and Bulldog Reign face tag team competitors, the fight's going to be a little more of an even affair. Well, Roberts and Carnage have nothing to be ashamed of here. They gave their very best against two of the best tag team wrestlers in the entire world. And uh, coming out on the loser again is one of those things that just happens when he fight two of the baddest men on the planet. You are correct, sir. Coming up next, Slim J tangles with the most annoying Salvatore Renaro. It's next here in the Wildside.